Hi again everyone. Uh, I'm following up the earlier video I did on our new curriculum change proposal template and I was going to share with you the WSOB guidelines for proposing curriculum changes. This should be read. I believe uh, Marilyn told me that this was put into the faculty handbook and so I guess it is an official document. I called it guidelines instead of a policy or procedure because I kind of feel like everything is subject to exceptions and so forth depending on the specific situation. Um, essentially I go through and talk about um, curriculum change uh, relating it back to the AACSB, the USG, and our own authoritative literature within the college. And so I essentially talk about the three types of changes. We can have changes involving courses, changes involving minors, and changes involving degrees. And, and depending on the nature of those changes, it will kind of uh, clue us in as to where it needs to go, uh, how high up the food chain it needs to be sent, and, and so forth. So at any rate, so this is a good document to read. The other thing that I tried to do is wherever possible, I provided hyperlinks um, to be able to get to actual uh, literature, uh, authoritative literature. So these uh, blue underlines, these are going to be links to other information. And so when it's uh, curriculum changes not involving a new degree program or major, and I provide uh, some guidance for folks. So these are the general process outline here um, that you are provided. And then close down here. And then there's a bunch of useful information. Um, the USG guidance on academic program changes, on uh, new academic programs. Uh, this is the common courses from the Academic Affairs Handbook. Uh, guidance on substantive curriculum changes from SACS. And then the Dalton State College Faculty Senate Resources page, which talks a little bit about the Academic Programs Committee. And then I provide a little footnote. Uh, about the Academic Programs Committee, just so, um, in case somebody didn't know. Uh, I didn't know when I first got here. So, and then uh, example considerations when considering curriculum changes. So I tried to provide some information to help somebody who was putting together a proposal, maybe for the first time or, or the first time in a while. And this will kind of walk you through um, kind of the questions you should be asking yourself, which would help you put together your proposal and any supporting evidence uh, for the need for the proposed change. And so you might want to go read through that. Um, then I have down here proposing changes to an existing course. You know, you may not need as much information, and so I've kind of laid out what questions you should ask there. Uh, proposing curriculum changes to an existing major or minor. It's a little more substantial than just a course, but these are the kinds of questions you might ask yourself. For a new minor, again, some questions that you'd want to go through and answer for yourself. And so for each different situation you might come across, I tried to provide some useful questions. Uh, and here, uh, if Dean Councils approves, there's a USG one-step new academic proposal approval form, so I provided a link there. Some information about deactivating or terminating a program, and, and a link to the USG information related to that. Uh, some notes about substantive changes, and so I linked you to the SAC substantive change policy, and there is an actual substantive change website that you can go to, and there's a lot of information there. And then I just provide some general tips on folks. Um, uh, for area E and F courses, you have to please refer to the last paragraph of the introduction to these instructions, because there's some important information there. Um, and so I tried to keep it short and brief. It's about five pages. And again, there's plenty of hyperlinks in here to get you to where you need to go if you need to educate yourself or review any, inf review any information to help you. So again, this document's been added to the faculty handbook. And also, I emailed a copy of this out a few days ago along with the template to everyone so you should have a copy somewhere in your mailbox I know not everybody gets to read their emails timely because we get so many of them and we are all so busy and again I appreciate your time uh, I hope this was informative and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys and, and working with you some more talk to you later bye